<laughs> oh man, ladies and gentlemen, we got somebody. I feel like he's a family member. Yeah. I've yeah. I've known him for what 40, 41 years now. Yeah, I know. We've been hanging out, man. It's an amazing phenomenon because you know your parents say don't talk to strangers, but everybody knows you. Yeah. And what's incredible is that it's so woven into their family lives that they relate stories of you know I got through a bad relationship or my mother's illness or I mm-hmm. met my wife online. It's incredible because you know I, I I don't see it every day, but when I go out in public and 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 see the fans, it's intense. You know, I mean there was a long period between when we made the first trilogy uh-huh. and and came back uh and you know how kids are they, they have no concept of time you know mm-hmm. a five-year-old thinks we made star wars two weeks ago yeah <laughs> that's true, that's so true. you're in the airport yeah. you're 47 and the parents are going hey look who it is to the five-year-old it's luke skywalker and they look <laughs> up at this grizzled old man they're like what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> he really let himself go he looks terrible but it's good for them to see me now because aging is a natural process and i mean it's kind of a relief because uh uh, that problem went away. The Mark Hamill is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, you know, always because I remember when Star Wars was a kid when it first came out, but yeah. we were obsessed. And listen, I'm an original Trekkie too. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. So I, I felt kind of like uh, conflicted. Uh oh, with Star Wars you and can Star like Trek. Them both. Can you I'm, like them? I both? think so. Of course. I met some of my best friends are from Star Trek. I'm Brent Spiner and. Uh-huh. I met Leonard Nimoy, great guy. Wow. I'm not sure about William Shatner. I'm not. You're not <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Carrie said, follow William Shatner. He's funny. Mm-hmm. I said, okay. So I followed him. Within two hours, there was a screenshot of Mark Hamill followed you, and he mm-hmm. wrote a four-word horror story. Oh. Well, I know he would have said, a four-word <laughs> horror story. <laughs> and like, I said, I don't know how to take this, really. Because, I mean, if it was a friend of mine, I'd say, oh, it's just uh, joke, perverse yeah. humor and stuff like that. But, you know, I think he sort of, he wants to have like a fun feud with me. Uh-huh. I just don't know where he's coming from. Because I yeah. think a feud's got to be mutual. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It can't be just one side. And I'm not motivated. You know, I'm a lover, not a fighter. My, my <laughs> man Mark Hamill, like ladies it. and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't even know people feuded like that. Uh, <laughs> that's old school feuding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's old school feuding. Um, was there ever, because you became so popular, yeah. um, was there ever a moment in your life that you you kind of wish you weren't? Well, I remember Carrie came to see uh, a Broadway show I did, and she goes, what's with your bio? I said, what's wrong with it? She goes, well, you don't even mention the movies by name. I said, they're in there. She goes, yeah, really snarky. It says, Mark Hamill, known for a series of space-themed movies, made his Broadway debut and blah, blah, blah. She said, get over yourself. I'm Princess Leia. You're <laughs> Luke Skywalker. You know, learn to live with it. As usual, she was miles ahead of me. Mm-hmm. When they said, you know, do you want to come back to the movies? You know, I, I, I kept a straight face. Carrie went, I'm in. Just okay. immediately. Yeah. Later, I said, Carrie, poker face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least play hard to get, uh-huh. you know? <laughs> It's like that girl in high school that won't date you. It makes you want her more. (laughs) And, you know, again, she cuts right to the chase. She goes, Mark, what kind of roles are there for women over 50 in Hollywood? Mm. And I said, boy, is she right there? Because, I mean, as hard as it, as brutal as it can be for guys, it's a million times more intense for women. And she always got things. You know, she played my fictional sister, but she was so much... She was always five spaces ahead of me. Because uh-huh. I sort of resented that when she said that. I said, you know, when, when she came to Broadway, I said, well, I got a drama desk nomination. Again, she said, yeah, who cares? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I, again, I, it took me like months later, and I saw her having so much fun being Princess Leia. I thought, uh-huh. you know what? what? What real estate do I occupy that nobody else does? You know, I mean, I didn't expect to be remembered for anything. So to be remembered for Luke, I mean, that's cool. I mean, what if I were the best guy ever to play Adolf Hitler? I mean, that's <laughs> like, it could have been. Yeah, it could have been yeah, different. It could have been much a different worse. outcome. Oh, you, you were the best Fuhrer I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Hamill was here, man. Let me ask you, bring up Luke. Uh, Luther Campbell is a good friend of mine. Oh, yeah. And um, and he was one, at one point, I, I think, sued so, so for using the moniker yeah. Luke Skywalker yeah, yeah. Uh, when he was making rap music. Did you, well, you, you, you knew about all of that. Of course, yeah. yeah. And you loved his music. He's awesome. And, you know, I mean, I'm one of those guys that was saying to the Lucasfilm people, I said, we've got to get everybody that was that's still around to be in this movie. Where's Lando? Yeah. I want Billy D back. Billy D. But see, I didn't get to meet anybody. I read the script. I mean, people say, were you shocked that you were only in the last minute of the movie of of Force Awakens? I said, no, I was shocked that Han Solo 
is gone. Uh-huh. So that means I'll never get to have a scene with him. I'll probably never get to work with Harrison again. Uh-huh. Uh, but, you know, it's you got to move on. I mean, it's not our story anymore. It's the next generation. You and um, John Boyega, who's a citizen of Sway in the Morning, he, he's been here uh, quite a few times. My son. Man, that's your son. And, and you guys have this admiration going on. Yeah, I, yeah. I watch you, you know, I follow you. And uh, I saw one of the... <laughs> I'm a I'm a stalker, Mark. That's why you're on the show. I got 20 things I want you to sign that your people said you won't. Happy All right. To do it. Okay, no, good. I'll sign okay. For you. All right, cool. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We do good business together, me and these people. All right. All right. All right. But anyway, you put That's out a, the perks. Yeah, that, yeah, That's yeah, the perks you, of being you, in the business. Okay, you put out a, a, a tweet. Shout out to a fantastic John Boyega for no particular reason other than you're charming, ever so talented, and simply sensational yeah, yeah. in everything darn you do. I'm yeah. so proud of you, Dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's always fun. The fans go ape. Because they think, oh, my God, it's a spoiler. You know, <laughs> he's yeah. related to me. I'm just having fun, you know. And I love puns. My kids go, Dad, your social media is so dad humor. I said, I don't even know what that means. They said, well, obvious, full of puns. <laughs> my son said, not funny. <laughs> I said, why <laughs> you? Uh, but I no, ought to. I, exactly. <laughs> I, I just one time uh, just said, you know, I said, uh, you know, early when we were making the movie, I said, boy, the guy playing – uh, Finn is is sensational. Typo or spoiler alert? You be the judge. But I'm just trolling to get more followers. You know, <laughs> at Hamill himself, he said shamelessly. There it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I, I, did you see Attack the Block? Yes, that's, like, that, that's oh, how I got to know him. From I Attack love the Block. him in yeah. that, and he's just. He reminds me of me because he's so he's so exuberant, and mm. he just loves everything that's happening to him. And I kind of see myself in him. In fact, I wish I had it as together as he uh, does. Because back when I was his age, you know, I was just clueless. I didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. So that's why I can appreciate now more with a little perspective mm-hmm. in a way I couldn't have in my 20s. So I'm sort of li- living it through not just him, but Daisy and uh, Donald Gleason, all those guys. Oscar Isaac. I mean, he's awesome, this yeah, guy. Yeah. He can do anything. So, I mean, all this fantastic cast that... I'm I'm near, but I don't actually <laughs> interact with them at all. Yeah, you know, it's so it's it's. So uh, you troll them on Twitter? Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody's got to do Somebody it. Somebody got to do it. You bet. You know, we had him up here. I thought it was weird initially when he was um, um, named as Finn. You know, it was some backlash because he was of color. You what? know, there, there was a lot of public folks in public. You know what the cutest thing about him was when I first met him? I said, how did your family react? He goes, uh-huh. I haven't told him yet. I said, yeah. well, what? I mean, the first thing you do, you think is call mom and dad. He said, you know, well, they didn't say it was okay. They're, the, the the secrecy on these things now. Yeah. I mean, in my day, nobody cared. I read Star Wars. I said, this is the goofiest thing I've ever read. <laughs> yeah. I called up my friend, hey, Jonathan, you got to read this script. I mean, it's just bizarre. And, and he read it. He goes, you're right. This is really odd. Uh, uh, can I give it to Meredith? I said, yeah, pass it all around. Yes. Now all the scripts are numbered. You know, it's you know they're on pads that that go away. You have to type in the code every 24 hours. It's terrible. Because I like to write in the margins. As I get older, I have to do like little cartoons to uh-huh. r- remind me of my lines and stuff like that. You know, I like a script that you can smell. I'm not a Kindle guy. Yeah. I like a book that you can smell yeah. and taste mm-hmm. and like hold that and all that. No, no, that's tablet that's thing. not for me, but... Uh, uh, it's just a whole new thing. And like I say, you know, I feel like dad around the new cast because they're all my kids' age anyway. And, you know, people say, do you give them advice? I say, they are so together. I'm thinking of asking them for advice. Wow. Mark yeah. Hamill. John, when, but John came up here. We talked yeah. to him about, you know, being a part of this franchise. This is what he said. Were you familiar with the old Star Wars movies? Or? Oh, I, absolutely. I've, yeah. I've been, for, been a fan for a long time. I was born in 92. In '92, I, I I wasn't gonna I wasn't trying to go back to '77 and watch you know those visual effects. So yeah. we got the prequels. <laughs> then I loved loved the 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 energy. I didn't understand the story. I was so young. And then yeah. I went back to the originals when mm. I knew about character and fun. And mm-hmm. then I, I I was just a big fan from then. <laughs> I forget he's British. Yeah. His, his, his American accent is so good. I mean, the first black kid I saw in London two days in, he was standing at a, a, 
a, a bus station and, and he turned to his and he looked like he could be from Chicago from New York. He turned to his friend and he said, I'm telling mummy that you've been perfectly horrid to me all day. <laughs> I said, wow, something doesn't, you know, he looks right, but he don't talk right. Something wrong with that boy. <laughs> Mark Hamill, man. Wait, Star Wars The Last Jedi is available on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Blu-ray disc on Tuesday, March 27th. At the end of this movie, yeah. what happens to Luke? <laughs> well, again, I mean, I, I troll the fans because, you know, someone said, hey, if you, uh, you know, disappeared into the force world or whatever, became a force ghost, why didn't your mechanical hand plop down on the rock? And I ran with that. I said, uh-huh. see, it's proof positive. I just force projected somewhere else. Yes. I left my robes. I'm on a nudist planet somewhere <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> and, you know, because Lucasfilm said, don't get your hope. You're dead. Get used to it all. But I'm just having fun. You know, if you can't have fun making a Star Wars movie, there's something seriously wrong with you. Yeah. Mm. I just get up and laugh all day. And listen, you see this documentary. Normally documentaries, they get some B-roll of a wide shot of the set, and then they show clips from the movie, and then uh, they do interviews, talking heads. This thing, they wired everybody on the crew. It's so immersive. When you watch this documentary, it's like being on set. Uh-huh. And you see how happy people are. Everybody is, uh, you know, at the top of their game, and they're just having the time of their lives. I mean, that's why it was kind of hard because my story's so dark. You're facing your own mortality. You want the Jedi to end, and you're telling people, get off my lawn, like some cranky, cranky old dude. But um, uh, it, 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 I still had fun. I mean, uh, like I say, it was, it's something that you can enjoy more with a little perspective. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, but although John sort of is, he's where uh, I am now, and he's what forty years younger than I am. Yeah, yeah, and he's killing it, man. Yeah. John oh Boyega, God. man, that's he's the in, homie, man. He's got a new franchise, the Pacific Rim. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, man. I was writing him, you know, again, quotes, playing the clueless dad, dear son. <laughs> as much as I enjoy you giant robots, and fighting. I'm just worried that since I didn't see the first Pacific Rim, I'll be hopelessly lost when it comes to the plot. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> like your dad. <laughs> what did he say? Did he respond? <laughs> yes, of course. He says, don't worry, dad. There's you know, there's a brief recap. So, you know, the joke being, okay, it's giant fighting robots. That's yeah, pretty yeah. much all you need to know. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, I just, I mean, I have so much fun fun with him and he's just a, a great guy again I wish I had a scene with him because uh, he's a great actor yeah. and maybe one day we'll do something together Mark Hamill is here you know him as Luke Skywalker he's done many things other than that too we can open up the phone lines 888-742-3345 give us a call sway in the morning the Star Wars The Last Jedi is available on 4K U Ultra uh, HD and Blu-ray and Blu-ray disc on Tuesday March 27th um Wow, we got Mark Hamill is here with us, and you know, it's you know his career has been so great and inspiring to watch, yeah. and it's to meet him in person and see that he's so present and you know and easy to talk with. It, it kind of made me do a little deeper dig into where does this guy even come from, and found out that you were born where <laughs> in Oakland, California. Oh, oh man, yeah. it all makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. Luke Skywalker is from Oakland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was in the Navy. I was in the middle of seven kids, and I went to nine schools in 12 years and graduated from Yokohama High School in Japan. But, Ooh. you know, you talk about being the constantly the new kid, constantly having to fit in because you're going coast to coast. You're not going to, you know, 50 miles away. So what's cool uh, in San Diego is not so cool in New York, which is not so cool in San Jose or wherever you go. Maybe that had something to do with, you know, being able to adapt and – be a uh-huh. chameleon, and because you, you at that age you don't want to stand out, you just want to blend in and yeah. you know not you know, draw attention to yourself. Being from Oakland, yeah. interesting. Who else is from Oakland here? I'm born and raised. Oh, okay. Mark, that's a good mark. Me. Oh, okay. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't use the force, Mark. You, you, you'd be able to sense to it. Who else is from Oakland? Man? Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> San Francisco a little too snobby. I mean, Oakland's more my speed. <laughs> you know, I like San Francisco, but I like I like Oakland. Oakland's your thing, man. And yeah, they had the Black Panther was, um, okay, yeah. you know, uh, you know, Ryan Coogler from Oakland, and mm-hmm. and he had Black Panther was based out of what well, that's how he twitched the story a little bit. It was that's based right. out of Oakland. A lot okay. of extraterrestrial energy. Very good. Very <laughs> coming good. from Oakland, man. Well, I didn't see. I didn't know you were from. 
there. I think Tom Hanks is born Tom there. Hanks, is, yeah. Oh, wow. Some good, yeah. some good people out of Oakland. Went to Skyline. Mm-hmm. Tom yeah. Hanks there. Okay. Uh, Gary Payton, and you know, uh, you know. Well, we can keep naming them, but we got Drew on the line from Jersey. <laughs> 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 Drew, what up, Drew? Jersey, stand up. Hey, Drew, what up? Family. Jersey, stand up. Tell them how to be. How y'all doing? Hey, what up? Good, so. good, good. I'm happy to speak to y'all, and Mark, I'm happy to speak to you, too. Uh, Thanks. Big part of my childhood. Not right. because of only Luke Skywalker, Skywalker, but your work as Joker. The, the Joker? Show. You don't like him, Boy. do you? <laughs> <laughs> All I needed to hear was one live laugh, and my life is complete. I could die. That gives me so much pleasure, because he's so 180 degrees removed from Luke, you know? Yeah. And people can't see you, so you can really let loose and do stuff that you would never do if you were on camera, you know? Uh, I never expected it to last as long as it has, you know, because I thought, oh, this will be good for two or three years. And I did it for five years, and then they brought me back for the Arkham video game uh, uh, Mm -hmm. thing. And uh, it's just a blast. I'm telling you, I love being behind the wheel of that crazy car. Well, that's what's up. (laughs) Hey, hey, Drew, make sure, man, you pick up that uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. On disc on two. I think I already got it, Sway. Oh, you already got it? Oh, 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 hey, hey. And it's jam packed. I mean, they don't just do clips, there's like 14 deleted scenes. Everyone said, hey, you said you're going to give Le- Le- uh, Ray three lessons. Uh-huh. One of the lessons is on the deleted scenes. Really? Yeah, yeah. And uh-huh. there, there's this feature that you can click on where they do the movie where they take out all the dialogue, uh-huh. all the sound effects, just John Williams' music, just his music. Now, I know how awesome his music is, but you forget, I mean, the nuance where you go, wow, I didn't even know there was music there. It plays like a silent movie. And it's my first silent movie since Force Awakens. <laughs> oh. I know, I had to get that in there. I know my da- Mark, daughter says, Dad, will you stop <laughs> telling that joke? Chelsea. It's so lame. Chelsea is so she pissed. So, I know. <laughs> she, look at her. She's cowering Even in the your corner. wife is like, oh, come God. on, man. I can now, I'm at the point where I can feel my wife's <laughs> eye rolls. Yo, I, felt I can it. just feel them. <laughs> yeah. I felt her eyes was burning through you, hitting me. I felt like I was in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, how the room gets yeah. so hot up in here? Yeah. All right, go ahead, bro. I just want to know, because I'm a big fan of the behind the scenes and like a lot of the right. urban myths and legends surrounding right. the entire franchise. So I read some stuff. I just wondered if you could give some truth or falseness to right. it. I heard that Robert England, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger, suggested that you audition for Star Wars. Yeah. Well, we were hanging out at the time, and in, in uh, Hollywood, you don't tell your friends about a role until you you've been rejected yourself, right? right? So he went on, I think he went out for Han Solo, and he said, hey, there's this movie called Star Wars, uh, George Lucas is doing it, and I, I knew him from American Graffiti, he said, you really should check it out. So yeah, but you know what I didn't say, because he's written about it in his books, and I love Robert, but the thing is, my agent, when I called her, she says, I already have an audition for you set up. Uh, Gary Busey told me about it because I was working with him. He's playing my older brother. I heard it from like five or six different people, but I don't want to take that away from Robert because that's his thing, you know? <laughs> Not I mean, anymore. But it's, 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 no, but it's embellished over the years to the part we, we were roommates. We were never roommates. Okay. You know, wow. it, it, the story just grows and grows and grows, but, you know... Uh, <laughs> Wow. But you don't want to take nothing away from him. <laughs> right. No, but listen, I mean, he's the first one I heard it from, I have to tell you. But, <laughs> okay, so he gets the credit for that. Of course. All right. All right. All right. He's All right. not All right. getting 10%, but yeah. he gets yeah. credit. He gets credit. Now, next question. All right, another thing was the bet between George Lucas and Steven Spielberg about which movie would be more successful at the box office and the winner had to pay the loser. Yeah, between Jaws and, and, and Star Wars. You know, I haven't heard it from the horse's mouth, but I read that very same thing. And I bet you it's true because they're great buddies. And George was, you know, he was so close to it. He's not a happy guy when he's directing. Steven said, he looked at it and he said, oh, my God. And this was out. The music and the effects weren't in. He said, this thing's going to be a winner. Uh, George, he... I guess because you imagine in your head for so long that when you're shooting and it's fully realized and, you you know, you can't put a budget on anyone's imagination. So you imagine it fantastically and you're on set and you go, kind of looks kind of crummy to tell you the truth. But we do a a, a take, you know, in the death, you know, like the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, squibs going off. He's headed for that small moon. You know, go turn to take a few minutes for now. Calculate coordinates. Boom, boom, boom. And then they go cut and you look over at George. You can't see me on radio, but he he he, he do this. <sighs> he just shake his head, and then his direction was, uh, "Let's do it again, but this time, uh, do it better." That's Oscar-nominated <laughs> direction, right there. <laughs> do it better, guys. 
you know, so it got to the point where our goal was just to cheer him up because he's really morose when he's when he's filming. He gets, I think, he's much more at home in the editing room. That's where he really where comes he to life because yeah. he's a film guy, film yeah. student guy. He doesn't like being on the set. I mean, he so he go action. No one would hear him. He had to <laughs> tap the first AD <laughs> so the first AD would go action. You know, because he was from the Royal Air Force or whatever, and and also he go. Uh, no one so nobody can hear the cut. Because there's <laughs> squibs going off. We have stormtrooper helmets on. What, what do we know? So, the, again, with the AD would go, <laughs> cut, you know, really loud. But it's just, you know, he's just so unique a guy. And, uh, you know, I love him so much. We owe him so much. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you made a lot of money, too. Have to say, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Mark, I'm wondering, with all of the work that you've done with Star Wars, personally, are you really into astrophysics? Like, do you pay attention to Neil deGrasse Tyson? How do you feel about Elon Musk wanting humans to go to Mars? Neil deGrasse Tyson. I was so thrilled that a genius like that could also be a Star Wars nerd. Because mm -hmm. I saw him standing in front of a poster. He had a lightsaber. I said, what? <laughs> Cause, you know, he, no, he's so far beyond what uh, I can understand about, you know, he's a, he's a genius. Uh, but I've been educated over the years because George said, you know, uh, read the Joseph Campbell novel. I mean, in terms of source material for where George was inspired himself. Mm -hmm. And over the years, uh, like I say, there's so many influence. I mean, you can read it and you go, wow, this is more like Wizard of Oz than uh -huh. anything else. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not science fiction. It's a, a, a character who's swept away from a drab, boring existence and has all these... Uh, uh, fantastic experiences, but then you start saying, "Oh my gosh!" Someone will point out the last, the assault on the Death Star. That's from the Dam Busters, a World War II movie, mm -hmm. where they had to blow up a dam by shooting a torpedo into a really small uh, 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 exhaust hole. So, and, you know, I thought, "Well, there's pirate movies in here. There's westerns in there. There's the Searchers, where John Wayne comes back and sees his family all slaughtered and so forth." Mm -hmm. There's so many influences that you know all these old elements. Everything old is new again. But like you say, I mean, it's after the fact that I'm 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 getting this education, and uh, like I say, I was really because I I've known uh, uh, Tyson. I mean, I've been a, a fan of his for so long. I just didn't realize until social media, it's mutual. I'll never get used to people knowing who I am because I yeah. just don't think of it that way. I went mm. to introduce myself to Eva Marie Saint at the Oscars and she's, oh, Mark, nice to meet you. Said, she knows who I am? Oh, my gosh. You're Mark Hamill from <laughs> Oakland. Mark, I want to know because I'm just admiring yeah. your shoes. I don't know if you oh, yeah. know that Wallabies are like a hip-hop. Oh, you have oh to even gosh. know about hip-hop to the highest on. degree it's... to even rock these Wallabies. <laughs> who put you on the Wallabies? These are rag and bone. And they're just so comfortable. It's like if I can get away with it, I wear them everywhere. Uh, uh, but, but keep looking at the socks. The socks game. Though. Look at the socks. Game, game, everything. You're chilling. <laughs> what kind of socks are those? Is Monopoly. That... <laughs> yeah, you, you know these are the pieces. It's the dog and yeah, the little shoe go. and there's the hat. The, there's the car. There's the car. You there's like the Mr. Cable? Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, oh, look, it. they're inside out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, right. I don't know how to dress myself. Well, that's, okay. that's what I have Chelsea in for. He got though, wallabies. So he's he from Oakland. Is that what they call wallabies? Yeah, wallabies. Yeah, that's yeah. from Oakland. Yeah, yeah. That's the style thing. I okay. think we used to call them hush puppies, too. Hush yep, the hush puppies. Real quick, I know you got to go. I um, do. Julia is our uh, intern. Who's, yeah, yeah. Hi, Julia. And she never gets a chance to ask a question, yeah, but okay. she I've never seen her so thrilled about a guest. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get a letter. She's thrilled. Star I'm Wars. thrilled. Oh, yeah. You grew up in that? Yeah. yeah. Every Christmas Eve, we watch a Star Wars movie instead of seeing family. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> that's that, what we do. That's a win-win right it there. Is. <laughs> but I was really um, into you playing the Joker, and I wanted to know how you developed the voice for the Joker because everyone has their own development for it. How yeah. did you you come to that idea I don't do it consciously but I look back and I think because I was a weird kid I mean my I had four sisters and two brothers and I was always like I was like the only eight year, year old that says how's my Richard Nixon let me make one thing perfectly clear it, which is weird for an eight-year-old you know and I did Jerry and all whatever and my you know but I would imitate the old universal horror films and I realized in retrospect, I wasn't doing it consciously, but Claude Rains as the Invisible Man. Crazy. Mm. You think I'm crazy. I'll show you who's crazy. So he had sort of the grit that I incorporated into it. And I said to voiceover people later, I said, I'm sort of, I would do a character and I say, it's sort of like Howard Cosell meets Jay Leno. Is that a cheat? And they said, no, we do that all the time. I mean, people don't even realize. You take elements and say, you know, like, I don't do a very good Jay Leno, but it just says, eh, you know, you know that cadence. Uh, <laughs> so 
Um, and I'll use people all the time. Uh -huh. I've even used Harrison Ford. Wow. So, wow. so I have lots of influences, and yeah. I would say that's a pretty good Harrison. Yes. With with with, uh, with the Joker, you know, he's different every time you play him. So you go, uh, you try and play him like it's the first time you've ever done it. In one script, he's meant to be really menacing, and another was a parody of uh, Thelma and Louise, where Harley and Ivy teamed up, and Joker was left shuffling around the apartment in furry slippers and totally cuckolded. So he was played as kind of a goof in that one. So he's different every time, and. Uh, that's the way I look at it. But boy, I've had so much fun doing it. I really. Uh, Mark, Mark Hamill, so man. He got to go. He has to go. From Oakland. From Oakland. Do not forget that. I hope you enjoyed your time. The show is sway oh in the morning, the time man. Time flew by. Yeah, man. So, I'm going to stay, I think. You should. You should. <laughs> um, Mark, thank you, man, thank for the you. career, for the inspiration, thank you so man. so much for having and, me. And you're officially a citizen. The sway in the morning. I love it. Excellent. All right, Mark Hamill, ladies Thanks and gentlemen. Thanks for having me, Absolutely, folks. Absolutely, man. Up next, we got TJ Miller. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5, and move. Junkies with DB.